For this challenge, students will work in teams to design and build a bridge. Their bridge will need to span a distance of 45 centimetres and hold as much weight as possible for 10 seconds. Through making this project, students will learn how loads and stresses impact structures. They'll also learn the importance of planning and how to work effectively as a team. We're looking for different types of designs, but available to each team are the following. For this challenge you'll need between one and two hours and there'll be indicative times within our toolkit. There are optional warm-up activities and these are then followed by the main challenge. Students will have everything they need in the worksheets, allowing you to walk around and help wherever they need it. Once built, teams will be able to test their structures and declare a winner. And then to close the session, we've provided a quiz and discussion points to allow students to reflect on what they've learned. Further information about the curriculum covered and any top tips and downloadable resources are all available in our toolkit. Okay, so to make this bridge, what we're looking for from each team is not all having the same bridge. What we want is a, is a bit of variance. So really one of the tricks is to get um, some of the building blocks together. So one of the first things is, is triangles are a very strong shape. Um, and so to make that, we use bulldog clips. We've made a few of these ourselves and we found that bulldog clips are the, are the best way to hold things together. So that's a really nice way of, um, of, of kind of starting to build bases with bridges. So one of the things we really needed was a way to get the lollipop sticks to, to be at right angles so that you could get um, kind of an X and a Y plane. So to do that, we used um, some lollipop sticks. We used clothes pegs, a lollipop stick, some white tack and an elastic band there. So to do that, we're gonna take a lollipop stick. So we use the clothes peg as something that the lollipop sticks can actually hold on and grip against. So that's the, that's the purpose of those. And then to hold them in place, we use the white tack here. So white tack first, then the peg. So hold that on there like that. And then that's gonna go there. So the elastic band goes over like this and around like that. And that will give you your right angle. So at this point, it's really up to teams to decide how they want to build the bridge. One thing you could do is just keep adding those triangles and connecting across again with the bulldog clips and building these out. And you can get as many as two or three lollipop sticks per bulldog clip. So this is a bit higgledy-piggledy, but this is one idea that you could run with. And then taking it from there, one thing that we found is obviously, uh, if it's just purely flat, the bridge, you're gonna get some bend um, when you put any kind of weight on it. So the nice thing to do is to add those triangles again to the top. So now that we've got this right angle here, we can start adding a bit of extra strength to the bridge. So with a little bit more time, you should be able to turn something like this into something a little bit more like this. And the idea here is um, with those extra kind of two layers, you get a lot more strength. So adding as many different triangles or different stronger shapes and equally adding um, more bulldog clips to areas where maybe uh, you're seeing that, that it's breaking or bending. Once all of the teams have built their bridges, you're gonna to need to construct something like this to put the bridges on and then put some weight on it. Uh, here I'm gonna use the bulldog clips, but you can use anything that's lying around and you're gonna to need to be able to increase the weight until you can see them breaking. So to do this, hopefully it works. And then we're gonna add more and more bulldog clips until we can break it. Good luck and hope they all enjoy it.